Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Some of my earliest memories in, in childhood uh, happened to be at my grandparents' house, and they had comic books that even then were old. I mean, they were falling apart and everything, like old uh, uh, Disney comic books, Mickey Mouse and uh, Donald Duck. I even remember there's one character, and I think it was in conjunction with uh, Scrooge McDuck, uh, called the Phantom Blot. I, I just barely remember this. The Phantom Blot. I wonder if that... Maybe I made that up in my head. I, I, I haven't bothered to Google it. But, you know, I, I did grow up with comics. Uh, years later, some years later, I ended up getting a stack of comics for as a Christmas present from my Uncle Chris, my namesake. And uh, it was kind of neat, uh, you know, uh, to, to read comics. But I never really, never really got into them uh, as much as other geeks have. And, and I imagine there are quite a few comic geeks in the crowd. Uh, and, it, it, of course, if, if you are. I'm sure you're you're going to be uh, more than welcome to share your favorite comic. If I okay, here's the question then: If I don't know anything about comics, and I, I like I like n nice drawings, uh, art, graphic novels. Uh, if I need a place to start, where should it be? If 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 you had to make a recommendation for someone who never really got into comics but certainly likes the comic idea, give me some good places to start. Now to help get other people started, including myself, we've uncovered uh, some iPad apps, and I know there are a lot of iPad owners in the audience, are top five iPad apps for comic lovers. And as a matter of fact, I know what you're saying. Well, Chris, I have an Android tablet. Many of these also have an Android equivalent. So this article that we have for you on LockerGnome.com, linked in the description for this video right now, feel free to plus one it, share it, tweet it, whatever you got to do to let other people know. Uh, now, one of these apps, admittedly, is from Marvel, and Marvel is currently a supporter of SOPA. So I don't know if you're a Marvel fan... But I, I got to tell you, I, I, I'm a little lukewarm on Marvel right now. Um, so if you're going to make a recommendation, hopefully it's not in that particular universe. Uh, they do have an app, however, available uh, to more easily organize and, uh, I guess, digest uh, the various comics that are available from Marvel. Uh, then, there, of course, there's Comixology's comics application. And uh, some people like this as well because it's not just uh you know just part of say just marvel but they also have dc and a multitude of other comic book publishers and i think that's the type of electronic comic book reading storefront that i would want i, I don't want to be using one app for one thing and one app for another thing i just like using one app period because having to manage multiple subscriptions all across the board i mean that could get expensive really quick and to tell you the truth um i know that some people collect comics because they are collectible, like the printed editions, I think I'd probably be just as happy to save money and just look at the comics uh, in a digital format. Actually, what would be even better, maybe one of them does this, to be able to subscribe to the printed edition and then get the, the, the electronic edition for free, you know? That would be really... Are anybody... Are anybody... Are any of them doing this? That'd be nice. Comic Zeal is another one uh, that is recommended. Uh, the downside is that it isn't free. Uh, but it doesn't rely on in-app sales of individual titles to make a profit. So it gives you a universal binary for both iOS and, uh, uh, or for both iOS, for all flavors of iOS that, you know, like iPad, iPod Touch, uh, iPhone. But uh, with it, you can open up your CBZ file, CBR, RAR, ZIP, and PDFs within a single app. So if you had compressed comic book files that you had archived yourself at some point in time, this would be the app that you would use, and since it's universal, it's just kind of nice. Digital Comics by Madcap Studios, another one that's recommended. Comic Book Lover by Bit Cartel, and that one will also allow you to read CBZ and CBR files, and it's free. So uh, you don't necessarily have to sit, spend money or spend more money to organize your comics to read comics in an electronic format. And you may have your own favorites, uh, whether it's your favorite comic uh, or whether it's your favorite comic app. Certainly looking for recommendations death of superman black bag sealed says evangelist soldier well or death of superman black bag sealed i can't tell if it's superman black i didn't know there was superman black that could be color e-ink readers for comics would be great i believe they are testing color e-ink right now uh let's see here scanning through and seeing if there oh this there's star wars and star trek comic book chris yes I probably would start with uh, Star Wars. I just don't know which par part of Star Wars I would start with because there's so many of them out there. 
I don't know. Uh, it's difficult to say, and I know comics aren't for everybody, but I, even I have read comics. I just haven't spent a lot of money on comics because they could get expensive. And of the things that I want to collect as a geek, I just I don't know if comics are one of them. So I'd probably be happy with the virtual editions. Uh, so if you have any other recommendations, feel free to make them, whether we're talking about the apps on the article itself uh, or you know comic books in general. Uh, are they still a good investment? in terms of you know saving up money. I know someone, now granted, not comic books, uh, but uh, they had collected all the original Star Wars figures all the way through Power of the Force, I believe, and were selling like 90-some-odd near-mint condition figures for like $5,000. Crazy. And I know they didn't spend that much when they originally bought those figurines. Wow. Marvel vs. DC number one, two, and three. Ooh, is that new? That actually sounds kind of interesting. Ooh, are there Lego comics? Hmm, this might get expensive real quick.